Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be trying to make a Zoark Peking Red Card deck in standard work. Um, I do like making some pretty cool competitive decks every now and then, and this is one of them. This is going to be a standard version of like a hand control Zoark deck. Obviously, Zoodia Zoark and Expanded was a big, big deck. People hated it so much that it ended up getting delinquent banned. And uh, we're going to try and make a similar kind of archetype working standard where we're going to be trying to uh, lull and muck them, use peaking red cards, judges, and mar shadows to just try and give them bad hands. So that way, all the while, we're just going to hit them with Rage's beating. And having Macargo in the deck means we can get any card we need. So if we're looking for the peaking red card at the right moment, we have access to that. We have other disrupting cards like Enhanced Hammer and a and Muck and Absol. All these cards to slow them down. Just try and be as disruptive and hand control y as possible. I did get some pretty good games with the deck. So uh, before we get into this piece of video, guys, shout out to the sponsor Card Cap TCG. If you guys are ever looking for any PPCGO codes for Team Up or Lost Thunder or Celestial Storm, or you guys want some like IRL singles, or you guys are looking for any GX codes for Jolteon GX, Flareon GX, or Vaporeon GX box codes, Card Cavern does have them all. When you buy something from Card Cavern TCG, you guys can use discount code code LDF, get a beautiful 5% discount on your order. And yeah, shout out to Card Cavern TCG. Check them out. So yeah, let's look into the deck. So yeah, I like making fun competitive decks, guys. It, it, hey man, I watch, I still watch competitive videos, man. I play rogues a lot, but there are times where I kind of feel like playing competitive. And this is a competitive rogue deck because Zoark control, hand control is not good right now. Zoark control is good, but Zoark hand control is not an established deck right now. And I'm hoping I can bring this deck forward. Looking back on it, um, there were times where I was not drawing very well with the deck. Um, I got some pretty ugly starts. Um, I also wouldn't mind trying to run another attacker in this deck, like a Weavile or a Lycanroc or a Lucario GX, for example. So let's look into the deck. So the idea is, is you want to be able to just spam Judges, Mar Shadows, and you want to use this Peaking Red Card card, which, uh, funny enough, Peaking Red Card card. Uh, your opponent reveals their hand, and you may have your opponent count the number of cards in hand, shuffle them back in the deck, and draw that many cards. So the idea with this deck is, um, if they have, say, like, two cards in their hand, and you play Peaking Red Card, and you see that they have a Lily or Cynthia or Guzma for game or something like that. The idea is, is you want to then peeking red card them and then try and give them an even worse hand. And uh, hopefully their hand is just not playable and you just keep doing Raijus beating and take your prizes. That is the goal of the deck. Having access to Macargo smooth over means we can get any card we want at any time. Having a Lull and Muck means we shut down stuff like Jirachis and the Rangurus, which can kind of get through this uh, hand disruption lock. The only card that can uh, kind of counter us as Zebstrika, which is played in a few decks. Um, this deck will lose to fighting decks. I don't really know yet if you have a good answer to look, like Lucario's. Uh, the best thing you can do against fighting is just, again, hand control. If, again, they have a couple cards in their hand, like they might end up using Ultra Balls and stuff, and they might just be holding on to like a small hand. So then you can peeking red card them. You don't even have to use Judge peeking red card. You know what I mean? So it is pretty good. Having all these judges means we can slow down the low and full pixels. You can slow down a lot of good things. Um, other Zorak matchups you can slow down too. Um, so everything in this deck kind of just complements Zoark, uh, Ditto, uh, Muck, Mar Shadows, Macargos, Lele's, they're all here to help you out. Um, the Absol's good in the early game against Zapdos, this deck can struggle against Zapdos because they'll try and pick off your Zorwas, your Grimers, your Slugmas, so just having Absol slows them down a little bit, lets you set up a bit better. So I think Zapdos, once this deck sets up, you probably beat Zapdos. I am playing one Resource Management or Ranguru, something that can be taken out, but being able to get back your red cards at any point, like if you lock them out of the game, with their bad hand and they're just not drawing well and you get a couple turns of resource management you get back some good stuff uh like ace rollas and like uh your peaking red cards and even your enhanced hammers against the zorak mirror match um yeah that's it again i'd like to run another attacker in this deck for, uh, that's about it for the pokemon items now uh two enhanced hammers great in the zorak mirror match and other pc heavy decks i am playing one field blower it's a really fun card to play because it catch people by surprise no one expects this card um, but being able to disrupt their hand and then control them with Field Blower, getting rid of their tools, potentially a skateboard even is huge. Um, I am playing two Judge Whistle. Something I am thinking of removing altogether is Judge Whistle. The idea was, is you can use Palpat to get back your Ace Rollers and Guzmas, and you can use Judge Whistle to get back your Judges. I don't know though, I think Judge's Whistle is honestly not good in this deck, you can probably remove it. Um, one Treasure to be able to be able to uh, get, you know, a Muck, Grimer, a Marshad, or a Lele. Four Nest Balls, we're going with the Nest Ball Engine. Uh, I am playing one Palpad for our supporters. Three peaking red cards. One of the best cards in this deck is this card. Again, we're going to try and just keep giving your opponent bad hands. Hand control, guys. Hand control. 
try to get our stuff back. I want to be a switch to switch out my cargos and stuff. Four Ultra Balls, we'll search for your Pokemon. I am playing two Devoured Field. Um, I know I'm not playing a Kikui or at all in this deck. The reason for that, I, you're not trying to one-shot stuff. You're trying to hand control them. A Kikui won't let you do that. Uh, Devoured Field, though, will let your Zoar will not only have a counter stadium, um, but mainly you can also use Devoured Field to hit 130 damage um, to knock out Buzzwolves. And you can also use Devoured Field with um, only four Pokemon on your bench so that you can do 110 damage to a Zapdos. And believe me, it makes all the difference. Uh, two Ace Rollers for the healing aspect, two Cynthia's, uh, four or three Lilies for draw. Uh, because we don't play so many draw cards, we have so many Mar Shadows and we have so many Judges, it's fine. But I actually wouldn't mind having more draw cards because there were moments where I wasn't drawing very well. Uh, two Guzmas. Uh, two might be a little short, I know, but a lot of the time you're using Judges and stuff, you don't need Guzma. I am playing Bodybuilding Dumbbells over Choice Band. Uh, this is good against Pika Rom. You know, you get more health. You can even take, you know, turn Zoar and do a three shot Pokemon. And just four DCs. And that's it for my Zoar hand control deck. Uh, it's a fun deck to play, and I'm hyped to play it. So, uh, yeah, let's show you the games I got. They're pretty good. Alright, guys, let's go do some matches with our Zoar peaking red card deck. I got a nice five win streak here, so I'm gonna be a little sad if I lose it. Um, and it looks like we might be up against Lost March, I'm guessing, which is fine. And we win the coin flip, which makes this even better. I think this is Lost March, anyways. He's got all the types that match it. Alright, we're gonna mulligan, which is fine. I think we can beat Lost March if we shut down the Array Guru with a Lolan Muck. I think we're golden. So we'll see how this game goes. I do think that this is a good matchup though. We'll see. Um, oh, we get the Mar Shadow start though. That's fine. We can do a Tapu Lele here. Get a new hand. Which is good. Alright, we'll see what we start with. Oh, he's actually playing a Zoar deck himself. Okay, that's a little surprising. Alright, right. we'll get rid of Devoured Field, and I think we gotta get rid of Palpad here. We're gonna need to keep the Enhanced Hammer. We'll get Lele. Not a fan of getting Tapu Lele in this matchup because it does have a, uh, a bad. A pretty low amount of HP. Okay, so I think we go for a Lily here. We can Lily for. F I can get a. S I can draw five cards because I can play the DC on the Tapu Lele, which I might do. I could have gotten Cynthia. I don't know. Oh man, this kind of sucks. I don't really know where to put this. I don't want to burn it either. All right, let's just do Lily. I feel confident we'll find a Zorua. Which we didn't. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, well, I think we got a Mars Shadow him then. This is not a good start on RN. No Zorua's. We'll see if this gives us anything good. All right, we got Zorua. We got a Lolan Muck. Uh, we got nothing to play that though. I think we'll hit him with a Peking Red card. And uh, he has a Zoark in his hand, but everything else he can't use. So I think it's good to let him keep the hand. I mean, he has a DC Enzo arc, though, which kind of sucks. You know what? He can keep the hand. He can't, like, he can't do anything, so whatever. I, I mean, I guess he can hit me for 40 if he wants, but that's a waste of his DC. Which it looks like he's actually going to do. Okay, so we can get our own Zoark here. Hopefully we can draw a Cynthia. No, we drew a Guzma. He has a switch in his hand, too. We know that much. I think I just let him knock out Mars Shadow. Um, I think I have to grab the Zoark here in case he knocks out Zorua. Which could happen. He could easily just hit it. Like, if he hits a Guzma off a trade, he'll knock out my Zorua most likely. If he can get another Pokemon down. So I think I just gotta get the Zoark in play. Yikes, pretty rough start from us. We're not really getting very far. We're not establishing any Slugmas, which is annoying. They'll knock me out. We'll be able to go into our own Zoark, though. Looks like he drew Dark Trick. So we just got to keep hoping that he just doesn't have much to work with. Another, like, a, a Zoark deck like this, I think, could be a bit harder to beat because they have trades, so they don't really care about getting judged and peeking red carded all the time. Though, using judge would still be beneficial. Okay, with you ace roll, uh, that's a bit of a rip, because I don't really want to get rid of that. 
Okay, we got Enhanced Hammer, and we got Lily, which is really good. And it did get us DC. Okay, that's really good, actually, too. So I think here we'll just get Slugma. Um, I think we will pay the Absol down. Bit of a waste of a bench spot. But I want to do 100 damage here. I don't just want to do 80 damage. I'd rather just hit him, so then we can knock him out next turn. Let's see if he has another DC. He didn't have played a support yet. He still he can still draw a fair amount of cards plus the prize he just took, so we'll see if he gets anything. He can do a trade. He's probably gonna be able to get his other dark here. He's gonna get rid of another Dark Trips. It's a good thing we have enhanced hammer in our hand too. The only unfortunate thing right now is we don't Oh, he actually attaches a grass energy. Interesting. So yeah, he doesn't have much here. So maybe the Absol was good. You can't retreat this thing now. He wants to like use my Macargo or Slugma. Yeah, alright, we should get a knockout here. And, okay, we are guaranteed a knockout because we do a nest ball. Nice. Okay, so we'll smooth over. So maybe the peaking red card did work because he's not drawing very well, it looks like. I think we'll just smooth over for a judge. Because we're going to knock out Zoark. We can give him a nice low hand here. Maybe we can hit a peaking red card here off of the judge. Get rid of my cargo. I think we'll actually also be using resource management or Ranguru. There's a Judge Whistle, which I think I'll hold on to. We did get a Treasure. We can't really play that. I think, yeah, we just knock him out here. Take our two prizes, and then just hope that the Judge sticks. And he doesn't have much to work with. I kind of wish we had a Peaking Red card so we can see what he had. There's a Srola. That's what I was looking for. I think we can win this. He can't even retreat the Zorua, so he's going to be stuck here if he doesn't get a Zoark. Which he did get one. Okay, well, never mind. And he got a Choice Band, so he can actually hit me pretty hard. Good thing he hasn't got any Rowlets, though. And he got a Stretcher, so... Oh, he's only going to get the Zoro back, though. Okay, well... He probably got a Cynthia, too. No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't trade. I don't know. We might have just judged him into a hand that's, like, good for him. He got rid of a Choice Band, so that other card had to have been important then. Because there's no way he would have just gotten rid of a Choice Band easily like that. We'll see. I think if he gets a couple of Decidueyes in play, I might start to get worried, because Decidueye will allow him to oh he's actually gonna goose with me okay that's fine we have switch in our hand which is pretty good um or we could just goose the zoroark up that works too i think we'll just smooth over trade for another zoroark here wouldn't mind also if maybe getting enhanced hammer that's fine though we'll trade off the treasure that can definitely go i don't think we need that anymore we have a stretcher um, yeah, we can play it. Why not? No harm in getting back some Pokemon. I don't even know if I want to do trade. There's nothing to get rid of here. I think I just hold the hand and Ryze is beating. Um, I would get a bodybuilding dumbbells. I don't think I need it though. There's no decidueyes in play. He can't really do much with his math. We just gotta see if we can just keep slowing him down a little bit. I know we got another Zoar grip. Alright, we'll see if the Ace Roll is here. We have our own Ace Rolla. We're going to need to use resource management at some point, though, I think, to get back some cards. Enhanced Hammer is a big one. He has Hollow Hunt, though, but I still think getting back Enhanced Hammer is really good here. And we're probably going to need to get back an Ace Roller or two. There's a Nest Ball. He does have an Energy, though. Again, we might have just judged him into a bad hand here. He hasn't played a Draw Support yet, which worries me because he might have one. He needs an Energy, though, to attack. If he doesn't have one, we're just going to knock up the Zoark here. He's just going to switch. So he doesn't have much. So we can knock out the Zoark here. Which I'm going to do, I think. Uh, that seems like the good play. We'll smooth over for Guzma. No, Guzma's prize. Wow. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, yeah, that kind of sucks. I don't really know what I grabbed then. I guess we just get bodybuilding dumbbells. Or I could look at DC just in case he hammers me or something. I don't know. I don't really know what to get here. I think we'll just trade off the Slugma. So we still have our Ditto. So I guess Ditto won't be able to play, play but uh, whatever. We can get rid of the Slugma. We'll just... Uh, Ride is beating him. There's nothing really to trade off. Every card I kind of value here. So at the very least, we're setting up the Zoarks. But if the Ace Rollers, this kind of sucks. Sucks that we got our other Guzma prize. Would have been really nice to just Guzma the Zoark up. Getting rid of an Ultra Ball. That will not let him get Lele, which is good. <clears throat> There's a Grass Energy. I'm predicting a Guzma here. 
Ooh, we got rid of a rare candy. We got another Rowlet down. He only has one card in his hand though, and it's nothing. So once again, we're just gonna kind of run him over. We'll just grab, we'll just smooth over for probably the Enhanced Hammer. I mean, he has the Double Grass. Or I can get Field Blower instead, I guess. Uh, we'll just do the Judge's Whistle instead of Trade. Just YOLO. Uh, we'll trade. Probably get rid of a Zoar, I guess. We can trade away that Grimer. Maybe I can just, maybe this better Field Blower, which we did get. So yeah, we'll get rid of that Choice Band. Not that it really matters too much, but I think it's still good anyway. So we'll knock him out. All we gotta do is knock this out, we win the game, which should not be too hard at all. And as you can see, the the deck is working pretty well for us. We were able to just kind of give him a unplayable hand to work with. That's kind of the strategy of this deck. You just want to have control with Macargo and smooth over. Getting rid of his VC was big because he wasn't able to attack that. You know, he wasn't able to attack at all. And it looks like judging him into a bad hand was just what he needed because it's probably too late for him to recover. He can get an ace roll here if he has a DC in his hand. That'll buy him some time, I guess. But no, he's going to get a Cynthia, which is fine. If he plays a couple cards from his hand here and only has like two or three cards left, and well, he still has to heal, obviously, too. So he has to retreat into Zorua and get a BCE in order to kind of stabilize himself. Because we actually don't have our other Guzma, so we can't knock out the Zorua here. We got a Decidueye. I think he's going to start hitting the, potentially the Macargo. And a Timer Ball. Double Tails. Okay, he did get head. He's going to get Zoar. Can't do Ace Roller though, he still has to get a DC because he doesn't want this thing to get knocked out. But we can hammer an Ace Roller him, which is pretty strong. And I do want to get a turn where we might have to do a Rain Guru. But yeah, again, if he plays like a few cards and he, you know, only has like two or three cards in his hand, we can maybe go for a Peaky Red card here. Just try and give him another bad hand or something. Even though I know he has trade, it still is pretty good to do that, I think. Plus, Peking Red Card is a card we can kind of get rid of anyways at this point. We probably won't need to play it considering he's got multiple Zoarks to play. So yeah, if he doesn't get a DC here, we pretty much are in a good spot. He can't do Ace Rolla. At the very most, he can retreat this thing to try and make it so that we can't knock him out, but that's not going to save him. He just, yeah, he has to retreat this thing. He might go for Hollow Hunt. Does he have anything? He has a Grass Energy, he can Hollow Hunt. Nope, okay. So this is really good. Uh, we can just get rid of the, we can get rid of that Life Forest. Yeah, I mean, Devoured Field helps him, obviously, but I don't really care about that anymore. Uh, we will Nest Ball for... Probably just Bodybuilding Dumbbells. He doesn't have much in his hand, I'm gonna say. I don't really care for Peaking Red Card. So we'll trade off Nest Ball, I think. See what this gives us. There's Bodybuilding Dumbbells, that's what I was looking for. Um, what do we trade off? I guess we can get rid of the judge. We still have another judge in the deck. We still have our judge whistle in our hand. Just peeking red card. We might as well play it, take a little peek at his hand. Three Guzmas! Okay. Uh, if you get into DC here, he can knock out the Macargo, which is kind of worrying, but then I get access to a Renguru. So, yeah, I don't really care about that. Oh, um, yeah, we'll let him keep the hand. Three Guzmas is fine. Guzmas not really too scary right now. This ride is beating him. The Bodybuilding Dumbbells hopefully can save us here, because if he gets multiple Decidueyes, I mean, won't be able to do much. I know I had to give him the extra 10 damage, though, which kind of worries me a little bit. I think we're okay, though. We have another Zoark ready to go, anyways. I just wish we didn't have to get rid of our other Ace Rollers so quickly and our Pal Pad. I think what I'm going to do, if I get access to Resource Management, we're going to get back... Rescue Stretcher, Pal Pad, and Enhanced Hammer. Because we want to just continuously Enhanced Hammer these DCs off of Zoar. So let's see what he does now. I'm predicting he's going to try and Guzma the Macargo. This thing is causing him issues. He KOs Macargo, that's more reason to play Resource Management for Rescue Stretcher. We can probably win, though, without Macargo. We don't really... We're not really looking for much anymore. There's Guzma. He's going to bring out Macargo, most likely. He might bring out Absol, maybe. No, he's going to bring out the Macargo. So if he has a DC, he will knock me out. There's Feather Arrow on my Zoar. 
So we have two 10 HP, so we gotta be mindful of that. He's out of choice bands, though, so it's actually gonna be pretty hard for him. And he doesn't have anything. Okay, this is really good. Uh, we know he still has more Guzmas in his hand. Uh, so we'll smooth over. Probably for... You can peeky red card him again. Nah. I think we just get, um... Ditto. It's the only other thing I really care about right now. Is Ditto. Trade. Uh, we can get rid of the Ultra Ball, I think, at this point. Don't care about that anymore. What is Rai just beating him? 130. Really good that he's not find DC. Once he does find one, uh, we have a nice enhanced hammer waiting for him. As long as he doesn't knock me out this turn, we'll be able to ace roll a... Just Cynthia, that's fine. I think we can still win. Uh, we slowed him down quite a bit in the in the game where it's like he has so much damage on the board. The only problem is, is we just cannot find our Guzma off the prizes so quickly. If we have a turn where we resource management, we win the game, basically. Because we'll be able to get back the Guzma. So there's all the more reason to just get, like, Guzma Stretcher. And maybe just Enhanced Hammer then. Because maybe we don't really need the Ace Roller. So we'll see what happens here. I think we're good. Um, if he just attacks me here and doesn't heal, then we basically win the game. Even if he knocks me out, we have another Zoark ready to go. So we should be good. It's good, too, that he wasn't able to get Decidueye into play that quickly in the game. There's a triple Decidueye, so he's going to be able to do 60, 120. He's going to be able to do 180, I think, so he won't KO. Well, he can do, actually, 190, so we'll have, like, 20 HP remaining. But it doesn't matter. We'll KO him anyways with Raichu's beating. He plays four Guzmas? Really? That's Okay, that's way too many Guzmas for a deck like this, in my opinion. He plays an Apricorn Maker and Elm, too. So there's a lot of things going on in this uh, Zora Kasichuai deck, but I think we can win. We can kind of see, man, we're winning because we were able to slow him down really well. Um, yeah, yeah, that is game. Riot is beating for the win. Against a Zora Kasichuai deck, a matchup that, oh no, we only play two Guzmas, I didn't even realize. Okay, well, there you go, we only play two Guzmas. But we have the Palpi, we have the Ranguru. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we slowed him down pretty well in that game with our... Um, judge plays and we keep our win streak but the more important thing is we were able to slow him down quite a bit in that game uh showing off the power of being able to spam judge and peeking red card it really does hurt your opponent and that's how you try to win the game man you try to give them a bad hand and then you just ride just beating them and just hope they just don't have much to work with they did have trade if they didn't have trade they probably would just kept drawing bad cards over and over again but you can kind of see the strength of the deck when you get them a cargo going you're able to get any card you need so you can continuously try and peeking red card and judge them and just keep trying to thin away at their hand that was a nice game again do another game in just a minute all right guys we're gonna go do another game with our exodia zoro deck see what we can play against here maybe run into malamar giratina i don't know we'll see what we run into all right we're up against hmm uh Pissimian coco maybe which is not that great of a matchup, but if we can get a muck down, maybe we'll be okay. We'll see how this goes. Are going to lose the coin flip, which is not good. Let's see if this can be Pissimia Coco or not. We got a Grimer start. Not great. We do have Ultra Ball, though, so this makes me feel a bit better about this awkward hand. We do have Lily, too, so his hand even isn't that bad. Uh, we can Ultra Ball, probably just get a Zoroa here, and maybe get rid of the Judge Whistle. I might get rid of Makargo also, depending on what I draw. We'll see. We definitely want to use a little muck if he's playing a Pissimian Coco, though. Oh. No, it looks like he's gonna be playing. Looks like he's gonna be playing Pika Ramen. This is kind of one of those instances where I kind of wish we had a fighting attacker in the deck, but we don't. Because we're not going first, we're not able to guarantee a turn two muck. So he's gonna be able to do Coco uh, Prison Star pretty early. We'll see how this goes, though. Pika Ramen can be a bit of a shaky game. We might sign, we might sign, ugh, I, I can't talk today. We might find some value out of peeking red card spam, though. If we can get rid of his bad hands. Maybe he's, he might be actually playing Zap, though. Judging from the, I don't know. The type maybe says that he's running Zapdos. We'll see. Playing Zapdos, I, I'm feeling a bit better. I don't want to lose my Grimer, though. So I might actually like, get Ditto instead. Because Ditto um, is good, because we want to guarantee at least double chances of getting Muck, because Muck is what can win us games against Jirachis. We'll see, though. 
Cynthia, we'll see if he's gonna be playing Pete the Rom or just Zap Phase. Oh, it's an Ampharos deck. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm actually considering retrying Ampharos out really soon. I've been interested in checking it out again. I think Ampharos can be fun for sure. Okay, we're doing Ultra Ball. So we'll get rid of, I think, the Judge Whistle and the Macargo. They gotta go. We'll get Ditto. So at least Ditto can turn into Mock or Zoark if we need it. If this guy goes into Mock, then who cares? Well, Lily. And alright, we got a Zerua. We'll Nest Ball for probably Slugma. I wouldn't mind getting another Zerua here in case he does kill me with Zapdos. We'll test my lock and we'll just play Super Poison Breath, I guess. Which we don't get to Well, rip. We don't really need the damage, but you know what? That would have been good anyways. So. With Ditto on the bench, he has to target one of these boys in order to do it. Like, he's like, oh, this can turn to Macargo. This can turn to Macargo, Zoark, or Thing. This can turn to Zoark. This can turn to Muck. So everything on my board right now is scary for him. He found a Guzma, though, which is kind of annoying. I was hoping he maybe wouldn't find a Guzma here. That kind of sucks a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see what else he does here. He probably has an energy. We'll see what he targets, though. It doesn't really matter what he takes out. So, as long as I have Ditto in play, it doesn't matter. What's he gonna bring out? He's gonna knock out the Slugma. That is fine. If we have a pretty busted hand, we can even Ultra Ball for Lele. This is fine. We lose our Slugma. It's interesting that he chose to target the Slugma instead of just targeting the Grimer or even the Ditto, but I'll take it, man. I'll take it. That's a really good top deck. So evolve into Macargo, play down my boy Zoark, we'll smooth over, actually we can get any card we want, we don't need to get Lele. Smooth over for, I might just get a Lol and Muck, and then Lele first, yeah let's do that, get rid of Guzma, see if we can get some hand disruption going too. Stretcher though, oof, I don't really want to get rid of that, but whatever. Got Lele. If we ever get to the point where we can use resource management, it'll be fine. We just need one more Pokemon and we can knock him out here. Or we just need to draw to our field, which might actually be better to draw. Now, I think we'll Cynthia. I wouldn't mind going for Judge, though, either, but that might not get me another Pokemon. I'm gonna guarantee a knockout. So we can also shut down Flaffy's ability, if that matters. Don't think it does. We'll Cynthia... And, ooh, we got a Mars Shadow, so we'll play that. And I think we'll just ride just beating him for now. No need to peek in my card. We weren't able to bump the Stadium, but I don't think that matters too much. We have a pretty good lock on him. We got the Muck in play. He doesn't have Stellar Wish or Zero Aura's ability anymore. He also doesn't have Poco Prism Star. He doesn't have Flaffy's ability, so he can't just leave me asleep to try and stall me out. So that's pretty good. So we'll see what happens here. If he attacks me with Zapdos, we'll just Ace Rolla, go into another Zoark, knock him out. Um, he lowers his hand size a little bit. We'll try and lock him out with Peking Red card, which is really strong against Jirachi because they don't have Stellar Wish, so they aren't going to be able to Stellar Wish to get a supporter. So then they're stuck with their empty hand. He probably has a supporter, though. We'll see, though. He will get the Ampharos GX into play, which is fine. He does have an Electro Power. Um, he might knock out Zoark here. It's actually... Oh, he's going to knock me out, isn't he? Zoark will not survive the turn, I'm predicting it. He just needs to impact Bolt me with a Choice Band or Electro Power. And he got a nice big Lily, so yeah, Zoark ain't living, guys. I don't think Zoark's surviving. Oh, it does survive, though. Okay, that's really good. Um, we'll trade away the Hammer first. See what we can get. Got Nest Ball. Yeah, well, Ace Roll. We'll lose Mother Retreat last. No need to do that. Ace Roll are coming in. Yep. We don't have another Zoroa down, which is fine, I think. Smooth over. I think we'll just get uh, Devoured Field. Yeah, we want to get rid of this, that's for sure. Trade. Uh, we'll get rid of a Peking Red card. Lily would have been not bad either. 
And we'll hit him for 130. So, that's good. We got rid of the Thunder Mountain, and uh, yeah. We're chilling. We'll judge him next turn, too, and go for the Red Card, I think. And what I'm hoping happens is maybe the Peeking Red Card baited him a little bit. Oh, he's playing Ace Roller. I kind of figured he'd be playing Max Potions and Ace Rollers. That's fine, though. He can hit me with Zapdos. But you know what? If he plays a couple cards from his hand here, which he's not. Dang it, dude. Play cards from your hand. I want you to do it. So we'll smooth over for Zoark, I think. I think we'll judge him. And we'll trade. I just want to get another Zoark in play. We'll get rid of E Hammer. Doesn't look like we're going to be needing Enhanced Hammer within this matchup. We'll put down the Zork. We'll judge. We'll hit him with a peeking red card too and see if we can disrupt him a little bit. There's peeking red card, nice. Field blower is also pretty good. Um we'll trade. Get rid of treasure. Don't need that anymore. And we'll peek in red card, see what he's got. Um He's got nothing. You're gonna keep that hand. No! Shoot! I meant to press no! Oh crap. Oh, dang it, dude. I actually didn't mean to do that. Ugh, dang it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to press yes. Why? <laughs> Alright, we have the peaked red card, though, back. Oh, my gosh. I did not mean to do that. But you know what? He still doesn't have Stellar Wish. It's not the end of the world, even though it kind of is, let's be honest with you. <laughs> I did not mean to give him a new hand. That hand was really good for him to keep. Now I'm sad. Oh, right, never mind. It looks like that peaked red card paid off because he doesn't have much. He's going to goose my mock. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, we'll just smooth over for Guzma. And uh, I think we'll just knock out one of the Mareeps. And he scoops. Yep, there we go. So, alright, we locked him out there a little bit. We pretty much just gave him the hand he didn't want. And that's the power of the deck. I mean, stage 2 decks are really good to play against. Oh, he had the Zipstrika too. So he had an answer to my lock. So if at any point I saw a Blitzel hit the board... We would have knocked it out. He also had... Oh, he also had Buzzwool in his deck. So he had a lot of answers. Um, but yeah, I do want to look at Ampharos again at some point, for sure. Yeah, well, probably just getting another game in just a moment. Alright guys, we're going to do one more game with our Zoark deck. Hopefully we can just keep avoiding fighting. Um, I do think this deck's biggest weakness is just fighting, even though you can, you can try and, like, judge peeking red card them out of, like, good hands and then try and beat a fighting matchup, uh, but I do think fighting is pretty brutal. You don't really have a good answer to that, but other than that, this deck is, uh, working pretty well for us. And, alright, Mr. Fox TCG playing a deck that has a fighting Pokemon in it. We'll see if it's gonna be a buzzle. I don't know, he's playing water too, so we'll see what it is. We aren't winning the coin flip, which is not great. We do want to win the coin flip here. All right, so we'll see what we start with. We're going to mulligan, revealing pretty much most of the strategy of the deck, even though this is a pretty beautiful hand. Nice, nice shiny, full art hand. But we're revealing a lot in the deck. We're showing off the Macargo, the Muck, the Peking Red Card, the Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Not a fan of that. And all right, what I am a fan of is getting a good starting hand here. Grimer, we got Ditto, uh, we got Judge, not the best card to play turn one, I guess, so maybe this could be better, but I'll still take this hand. He's gonna start with his own Ditto. He might be playing Quagsire, which he is, okay. So if he's playing Onyx, it doesn't have a choice man. I'm not too worried, because we got Bodybuilding Dumbbells. I think we can beat this matchup. He doesn't have a good draw engine, as long as he's not playing Zebstrika. I don't think I saw any Lenny Pokemon, though, so as long as he's not playing Zebstrika, should be Gucci. Attached to the Ditto. What's he gonna do? But yeah, any deck that doesn't have a good draw engine, you can beat. If they have an Oranguru, then you can beat him. He's gonna wish him a ton. All right, good thing we play Field Blower. And his turn one is a Sightseer, which gets rid of Water Energies and Stretcher. Let's see if he gets any Aqua Patches. Zarua could be threatened here potentially by a turn two KO. We can judge him though and try and slow him down a little bit. does find Aqua Patch. I don't like that. Does he get any other Pokemon, though? Any Articunos? Any Wailord Magikarps? Any Volcanians? Nope. Okay. So what do we draw? We drew to our field. I think we have to play that just so we don't draw it. We'll have to judge him. Not a great turn one. 
And okay, we got Marsh Shadow, which is good. Uh, we can keep giving him lower hand. We can maybe Marsh Shadow, Peaking Red card him here. I don't hate that. The other Zoroba, though, is the most important thing we got. And all right, that is a really good hand to get. We got Field Blower for next turn, and we'll pass. Pretty good hand. We might lose Zara, but other than that, this hand is busted. We got Macargo, Smooth Over Trade. We got Field Blower to get rid of that Wishful Baton. Hopefully, multiple Wishful Batons can get discarded, though. That's one of the things that I hope happens, because we want to be able to make sure he doesn't get access to Wishful Baton. He might just be playing Quagsire Naganadel that Ross Cawthorn played recently at Denver Regionals. That's what I'm guessing. I think he played Onyx in his list, but I am too lazy to check Limitless right now for the list, but I'm pretty sure see what he does here. He didn't do much last turn, so that's good. Sightseer. I remember when this card got so hyped up. I might do, honestly, I've been thinking about doing like a top 10, top 5 video on like the top 5 most hyped up cards that ended up flopping. Sightseer, I think, would be very high on that list because this card got so much attention when it first, like, oh my gosh, Sightseer is so good. You can discard cards from your hand. And then Sightseer turned out to be guarded, and it looks like he doesn't have anything. Which is good. I think we'll just get rid of the Oranguru here. That'll kind of be our prime target. I am actually going to play Absol down. Um, just being able to shut down any basics he has from retreating is a good thing. I think we just take the Rhymes as being killed. I don't really even care for the Field Blower. I'd rather just save it, honestly. Well, like, he's saving one energy, you know, whoop we do That's not very good for him. And with Absol in play, he has to pay more to retreat, which I still think is good for us. So we'll get rid of the Oranguru. Don't really care too much about playing field blower um and we'll just knock him out righteous beating so only thing that stopped us from having a good start was getting mucked down because we get mucked in play we can get past his articunos i don't even know if he's playing though that's the only thing so well, maybe he is because he attached the energy with an ultra ball that's good we can get mucked down next turn which i like to see we'll probably just smooth over trade for cynthia though if i'm be honest and there's Waylord carl so there's the big boy himself so this thing might be hard. No, he scoops. I mean, we had Nugget on Quagsire, I guess. But yeah, you can see the game. I mean, we had a pretty OP start there, let's be honest with you. Let's go dive into another game with our Zodia Zora deck. Uh, the only thing that I'm hating about this deck right now is I am having games where I'm just getting really bad starts with my draws. And I'm losing games because, like, I'm just not getting good starts. You know, I'm not drawing very well. But Zora, you don't really have to worry about that too much. At the end of the day, it is a Zora deck. Uh, we might have against Pikarom here. He's got the deck box and the Pikachu coin, so I'm predicting it is. As stated, my starts have been kind of iffy in some situations. This is an example of getting a start that is not very good. The Muck is a good card, though, because we can get like a we can get a Grimer here. I'm actually happy to see Muck. Um, I do want to consider running more draws for this deck, but we have a mug. Okay, Triple Zoro is not a bad thing, uh, but we just didn't get much else. That's terrible. He might Marshadow me, though, and give me a better hand. I would have played a DC down, but I'm worried he might be playing Zapdos. Let's we'll see. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather just not play the DC. DCs are very important. We only have four of them, and if you ever need to get them back, you have resource management, but you need a DC to do that. So, yeah. I'm just going to Ultra Ball. We'll see what he gets rid of here. Predicting he's going to get rid of an energy and something. He's going to get a Picarom, very likely. He might just try and go for some Zapdos early KOs. Considering I didn't do anything, he's probably just thinking that I don't have much. I'm hoping he Marshadows me, though. That's the thing I'm hoping for. I'm hoping he hits me with a Marshadow, because I do not like this hand. <laughs> I'm hoping that he just thinks that I'm sitting on a good hand. That's why I didn't do anything last turn, so I'm hoping he just plays Marshadow. And let loose is me into a more playable hand. Though if we can draw like a Zork here, then this hand does become more playable. We have DC, we have Ace Rolo, we have Guzma, we already have the Muck in our hand. There's a lot we can do with this hand, it's just we're missing Zork some stuff. So we'll have to see what he grabs. He's gonna grab Zapdos, so maybe he's playing a Zapdos deck. I think Zapdos is one of our best matchups. It just comes down to drawing well enough, which we're not doing. We're not drawing well at all. We're drawing like trash. And he has either Escape Rope or Guzman here, so we're gonna have to give up one of our Zoroas, most likely, judging from his hand. No, he's gonna Cynthia. He still probably will hit an Escape Rope, though. We'll see. I really hope we can draw something, though. Or at the very least, he let loose his knee into a better hand, because I don't like this hand at all. 
I'm not a fan of this hand, man. I think maybe um, one card you can get rid of is Judge Whistle. I have yet to play that card <laughs> that well. Like, Judge Whistle's helped me out maybe like once or twice. If I, I don't know. I'm thinking the Judge Whistle can go though. I don't think we need it. It looks like he's playing a Zapdos deck and he's not actually playing Pika Rom, which is good. I think Zapdos is a good matchup. Better than Pika Rom. You can beat Zapdos pretty easily. You just gotta get a good start, which we are unfortunately just not getting. We are not getting a good start. We have a lot of answers to his deck, though. Okay, this is gonna make or break how we, if we win or not. If we don't draw a ball, we probably lose. Okay, we drew something decently okay. Give me Zoark. You didn't give me Zoark. You gave me Grammar, though, which is a start. We can ram him. Put some below 100 HP, so if we don't get enough Pokemon, I guess we can knock him out. We have another Lily to work with. We have a Muck, though. I don't know if we want to play that, because we probably need to get Marshadow. Or Lele. Well, specifically Marshadow. Even Ditto could be useful as another Dora. He's gonna knock out my Grimer, though, which, whatever, I'm fine with that. At least he's not dealing with Zoro, which kind of makes me happy. You can always get Stretcher. If we can get a Ditto and another Grimer down at any point, we should be good. We need to get the Muck in play. Muck is part of our strategy of winning this game. Funny enough, we're playing a deck that tries to make your opponent's hands terrible. Yeah, we're the ones getting the terrible hands a good chunk of the time. I'm, I do think there needs to be something, though, to make this deck a little bit more consistent with its draws. That's the one thing that I'm kind of figuring out right now is I've been getting some matches where I'm drawing pretty poorly. This is one of them. This is one of those games where I am not drawing very well. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting Absol down, though. Absol could be good until we get another Muck in play. That could be pretty useful, I guess. Field Blower wouldn't be bad either to get rid of the Choice Band and the Escape Board. So we're going to lose our Grimer here, unfortunately. I'm fine with that, though. I'd actually rather lose Grimer than Zorro right now. I don't even know if I would have played the Muck down, because we still like need to get either like Lele or something. Or Marshadow. Marshadow, at the very least, gives us a new hand to work with. So, yeah, this is kind of why I don't know if I would have played the Muck down. Grimer kind of just was like... Cannon fodder slash bluffing bait. Does that make any sense? I don't know if it did. Okay, we're in desperate need of a good draw here. Ditto, I'll take it. That's something to work with. We can draw three cards. And okay, we finally got something going. Uh, we'll get rid of, I think, Ace Rolla and Guzma. We can finally get a Zoark down. We also have Treasure for Tapu Lele. Or Marshadow. I think I just do the Marshadow here, though, to be honest. That's cool. We'll get rid of the bodybuilding dumbbells. We'll go for Mark Shadow. Alright, what do we find here? Judge Whistle's good. We didn't get another basic. We might not knock out the Zapdos. We don't. That's a pretty big rip. We also want to evolve this thing. So we'll do Judge Whistle. Mm, we got him. Nice. Beautiful. And we'll play Peking Red Card. Why not? Um... We'll let him keep that hand. He has Thunder Mountain, but that's fine. We still have trade, don't we? Do we even play that? I don't want to get rid of anything. Yeah, I think we just ride just beating him. I don't want to get rid of the Mach, so I think we'll keep the hand. What do we get? Another body of Mumbles. I don't know if we really need that in this matchup. He's not playing Pika Rome, so Body Mill Mumbles doesn't really speak to me too much. Yeah, we'll let him keep the hand. I know he has energies and he has Jolteon, he does a Thunder Mountain, but he's relying on what Stellar Wish gives him in order to get out of this. So I'm fine with that. I'd rather him just keep that hand. No supporters or anything. You ask for relying on Stellar Wish, I'd rather that than, you know, not. So I'm fine with him keeping his hand. Uh, Jolteon might be interesting to have to put up with, though. Jolteon could be tough to deal with. Swift Run could be hard to get around. See what he gets here. It's taking a while, so it looks like he got some interesting picks off of the Stellar Wish. Um, I'm predicting what will he do? Will he hit the active or will he snipe while oh, we hit an air because of fatality? That can get him a big hand. Oh, can he play it? He can Thunder Mountain, Erica. No, he can play it. Okay. Yes, Thunder Mountain to play. If he didn't have Thunder Mountain, I don't think he could actually play this air because of fatality. He'd have to go into Stellar Wish again and try and hit an Ultra Ball. Okay, we just gotta hope he doesn't get much here. We're looking for Devoured Field, too, to bump this. 
We have four energies in play. So we gotta watch out for Coco too, so that's not good. But I had to play that energy so that I can keep drawing well enough. Well, the good news is he has to find a switch and stuff, so that's good. He had to Guzma, so Ditto is 100% safe here. And if he goes for something like Escape Rope, we'll let him knock out my Mars Shadow. This is fine. I'm predicting maybe we can bodybuild and dumbbell some muck, because it does actually is kind of important to keep muck safe. I don't know, I might actually play bodybuilding dumbbells on my muck. But maybe I should attack the active, because yeah, the threat of a Tapu Coco is there. I guess he already plays Stretcher, but the, there is a chance he's playing more than one copy of Breast Stretcher in his deck, so yeah. Uh, it's so upsetting though we did have to lose one of our ace rollers. We'll see if he has a switch here. I might have to just retreat to Lark, which I might just do. His EV. Oh, he's going for Jolteon. Does he have a switch, though? That's the thing. He's played one switch so far. He has very retreated. Oh, he prizes another Jolteon. Beautiful. And the other one's in his hand. So I guess he'll evolve the EV, so maybe I can target that with Guzma. I might want to do that. Jolteon kind of scares me a little bit. Ah, he has a switch. Dang it. He's going to be able to two-shot my Zolark. I don't like that. So we're probably going to have to bodybuild and dumbbell my hat, dude. It's pretty annoying. What do we draw? Judge Whistle. That's pretty good trade bait. I guess I should have saved the mock actually. That was stupid. That's fine. I think we got a retreat. Hit him with a judge. Barfield? No. We did get the red card though, and we got Slugma. I'll happily take Slugma. We can play this, try and slow him down a little bit. Uh, Jolteon, oh, he's got Mime in his deck. So if we ever lose our Muck, that's pretty bad. Actually, that's a pretty good hand on his end. I think we're going to give him a new hand. He already played the energy, so he can't go Jolteon anymore. Uh, we'll trade, get rid of Nest Ball, I think. You probably want to save the Absol in case Muck ever goes down. Alright. The only thing we were missing was a way to bump this. So hopefully this Peking Red card judge sticks. We gave him a bad hand. He doesn't have Stellar Wish. That's the plan right now to kind of slow him down. So let's see if this pays off. We need to Ace Roller him too. We need Palpat also to get back that Ace Roller. And probably a Guzma wouldn't be bad either. Hopefully we can find Macargo here off of one of our trades if he doesn't knock out Zoar, because I do want to try and get rid of the Eevee here. So we got a good setup here. So we can try and make a comeback if we can. And I'm hoping we can try and slow him down Piggy Red Card. That's the strategy of the deck. This is why I say Zoar hand control deck. It's all about trying to give your opponent bad hands. We did find Jolteon. Are you serious? What? Why did Siri just... Did you hear that? that? Okay, um... Apparently Siri can hear me while I'm recording videos. That's... Okay, that's really weird. Huh. Alright, so let's see what he does. Will he go for a Swift Run GX? Let's find out. If he does, all the more reason to Guzma. Maybe even hit Zapdos. Did he get a supporter off of this? Sucks that he got the Jolteon. He only had one in his deck. He hasn't played many Ultra Balls. He still probably would have found it, but still, that's kind of annoying. He's just gonna switch from me, so that's fine. So we're looking for Ace Roller here. Macargo. No. All right, we'll trade off the Absol. There's Macargo, so we got the Ace Roller. The good thing we have this guy on our bench, because I don't want to go into the heavily damaged Zoar. That's a no-no. Did we prize Ace Roller, though? We didn't. We have our Palpad, we do. So we want to find Palpad. I also want to find a Varad Field. That might be more important. Get rid of Nest Ball. And yeah, we'll bring in Marsh Shadow. Oh, the Ace Roller glitch. It's a texture glitch, though, don't worry. It's not too serious. Trade off the Ultra Ball. Definitely want to keep Stretcher when he knocks out my Muck potentially in the future. Enhanced Hammer. Don't need that right now. I think I pass. No Devoured Field, sadly. 
I'll, I'll hold the field blower, by the way. I'll, if he plays another choice man, I'd honestly rather get rid of that and escape board. He still has a lot of switches. Who cares? He'll end up retreating the draw key half the time anyways. I'm cool. Um, yeah. I want to heal the Zor. Kind of wish I was playing Max Potion in my deck right now. Not gonna lie. Kind of wish I had Max Potion in here. So, he can knock out Marshadow. He'll go down to three prizes. There's Mime. That's fine. Can still prevent that. He goes after those. Yeah, fair enough. He gets a free prize. That's fine. Doesn't look like he's drawing very well. Bring in Zor. Uh, we're gonna get that Devoured Field ASAP. Trade-off, Enhanced Hammer, he's definitely not playing an Ultra Beast version. And we can knock him out here, we don't need another Pokemon on our bench. Um, we'll trade, get rid of an Ultra Ball, for sure. Enhanced Hammer. I think I just go for Cynthia. Um, I am very much looking for a... What am I looking for? I forget what it's called. My bad. Um, one this ball. Grab a Ranguru, I guess. Sure. Palpad. That's what I was looking for. Alright, we can do Palpad next turn then, I guess. See what our prize is. Slugma. So I think we're in a decent spot. The only thing that's worrying me is just having a heavily damaged Zork on our bench. And not having any healing cards left to work with for the moment. But it's looking like our Peking Red card has done some justice. He hasn't been able to get much. We've been able to shut him off with Peking Red card Judge and shutting off his draw to with a little muck. Seems to be working out well in our favor. Let's see what happens next. So I might have to retreat Zork again. I think I have another Zork. Yeah, we're good. See what he goes for here. We have a Guzma Electro Pirates. I'm curious to see if he'll ever take down my muck at some point. Let's see. What's he gonna do? He's gonna retreat. Okay, so he doesn't have anything. So he's just gonna hit me for 110 then. And we should be safe from a knockout. We have 140 HP, and that's a lot of HP. Roll Ultra Ball. Grab another Zoark. We have 11 cards left. Good to know. We'll smooth over the pal pad. We'll trade away the switch? I don't know. That's tough. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll pal pad. We'll get back double ace Arola for sure. I wouldn't mind getting back to the though. We have a Ranguru, so I don't know. Maybe not. And we'll trade away Marshadow. We find one of our ace rollers. We do. Beautiful. Get rid of this guy. We'll hit him for 130. We'll see if we live the turn. Um, you know, maybe I should have retreated. If he finds an electro power here or a choice man, I can not fairly. Yeah, why did I do why did I heal the bench? Why did I heal the active? Did I just make a huge misplay, guys? Let's find out. I'm still in top deck mode, so maybe we're safe. We can still smooth over for Ace Rolla anyways. Yeah, I should have healed the active, though. We'll win the game, though, if he doesn't knock me out here. Why didn't I do it to the active? Wow, guy. I feel like an idiot. For some reason, I thought I was knocking him out in my head, and he has a knock. I'm actually terrible at this game. I'm actually terrible. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my god. Why did I do that? <laughs> what the heck was I thinking, bruh? Oh my gosh. Alright, we gotta play this now, I think. Don't know why I did that, but there you go. It's pretty silly of me, guys. I apologize for making a bit of a minor misplay. I say minor, it is a big misplay. We're gonna do that now. How many DCs do we have left? That's our last one.
We're just gonna ride his beating and hope he doesn't have game. I am an idiot for doing that, guys. I apologize for the misplay. Dang it, dude. I feel stupid. We got Guzma, though, so we should win here if he doesn't win the game this turn. The only thing that's on the bench that's, like, good for him is Macargo. That could easily be how he wins. Why did I not heal the active? I guess, like, in retrospective, he may have had a Guzma in his hand anyways, so he would have knocked out the other Zorak anyways, so... Maybe it didn't matter that much, but still, that was a bit of an incorrect misplan, Maya. And I do feel pretty silly for doing that, but we'll see if this pays off and we still win the game. He still needs to retreat the Jirachi anyways, and Muck is in play. He doesn't even have Stellar Wish. Still, though, that was... I don't know why I did that. I was thinking of doing Smooth over for Judge, by the way. But I don't want to get rid of anything. I was thinking, like, get rid of DC, but we only have one left in the deck. Our other two are gone now. Oh, man. I, if we lose this game, I'm going to feel like an idiot for that. <laughs> I'm going to feel like a huge idiot for that Ace Roll of play. He's going to get a Zero Aura, though. Okay. He doesn't have access to his abilities, so that's a good sign that that's not a Zap goes. Might just win here. Let's see, he might just go into the Zero Aura to try and survive the turn. Just hope I don't have a Guzma. But um, maybe he's thinking I don't have one. Then it's prized because we got one in the discard. But jokes on you, I got one in my hand. So we might win the game, even though we made a weird misplay. But again, he could have had Guzma, so it may not have mattered. But I guess maybe the correct play would have been Field Blower, and then the Ace Roll on the active. So then he didn't have a free retreat with the Escape Board. So maybe that would have been better. I don't know. You know what? Everyone makes misplays. Everyone makes misplays, let's be honest with you. No one's perfect. He's gonna attach the active, which guarantees to win, I think. Guarantees to win. Especially because he doesn't have any basic abilities. So we're gonna come short here with just squeezing through with a very close win. I think he's gonna go for Plasma Fist. And then we'll just Guzma bring out the Jirachi and win the game. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't win the game because of that silly misplay I did, but at the end of the day, I'm happy with the win. It looks like he's got something up his sleeve, but I don't think he does. He's out. He doesn't have Thunder Mountain anymore. He can't attack me. I think he's just going to go for a full voltage and then just hope I don't have game, which I do. We have DC. We'll just bring out the Jirachi. So, yeah. He did have Switch. Okay, so I guess he didn't have Guzman then because he only has two cards. He's going to get Triple Prism. He cannot play that because Alolan Muck is in play. So yeah, I think Zapdos is a really good matchup for you. It's just going to come down to whether or not you know what you're doing. Um, yeah, we kind of had a slow start there. I made a really weird misplay with that Ace Rolla, but at the end of the day, I think it pays off pretty well for us. But uh, we won, and that is the power of hand control Zoark. Hand control, I <laughs> think, did win us the game there, because he, yeah, mock, peeking red card, judge, slow him down quite a bit. Pretty good stuff. Just being able to see his hand, just knowing that, hey, you have a bad hand, you're going to keep that, is really good to know. Or, hey, you have a good hand, I want you to get a new hand, and then I'm going to hope you don't get a good hand. Hey, Alolan Muck is in play, by the way, you can't play... Stellar Wish, and you don't have access to Coco Prism and Eevee's ability. So you're going to be slow down quite a bit while I just ride just being you. So there you go. That's the uh, deck. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Peace Joe video. If you did, make sure you like. Don't forget to subscribe on the road to 5,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed to the channel already, what are you doing? Make sure to subscribe. Check out Card Cover TCG if you guys are ever looking for any PCGO codes or singles. Card Cavern has a lot of them. And when you buy something from Card Cover TCG, discount code, code LDF gets you a nice 5% discount on your order. Zoark, Exodia in standard, hand control Zoark. That's it. Bye.